Hello, this is Daniel Marcolongo, and today I'm going to be talking about the trolley problem and my findings when interviewing people that I know. So originally, what I wanted to do when talking about the trolley problem was uh, talk to some of the kids that I'd been coaching and get their opinion, but uh, that really didn't seem to be possible for me because getting parents to agree to it, I didn't even really want to bring it up and like <laughs> risk getting in trouble or something, and even if I did, like it's tough to get answers out of like a group of kids like it's hard to get them to say like if they like pancakes or waffles more so i don't think getting them to say would you rather run over five people or only one person but to run over the one person you have to pull a lever like i can't really see a situation where i can make that happen so in the end just decided to interview people on my own soccer team and ask them how they're feeling and the people on this university team, like, I think the age range is 18 to 22, all male. And, yeah, I just want to get, ask them, get their opinions on the trolley problem. So, uh, the first thing I want to say is, when I asked them, there were two different lines of thinking about whether or not they would pull the lever. And for this, I only asked them about the initial trolley problem where the train is going down the tracks, it's going to hit five people, but you can pull the lever and make it only hit one person. That's the only variation that I brought up, though. Some of them did mention the uh, uh, surgeon case, for whether you'd carve up the one person to save the five, but that wasn't something that I brought up. So the two lines of thinking for the actual trolley problem were to save the person because it's the right thing to do, and you will only have one death as opposed to five, or the other one, which is you wouldn't pull the lever because you basically don't want to play God. And I feel like that's an interesting point of view because I feel like we have heard both sides of the argument. Uh, the first person I asked uh, brought forward this argument that, no, I wouldn't pull the lever because if I do that, I'm killing that person. Their death is on my hands, and I'm playing God, basically. And that's not something that you really want to do. And uh, I guess something interesting psychologically is, like, uh, after he said that, like, everybody, like, agreed with him and saw that line of thinking. So, like, there was, like, six people there. They all agreed with that. Then as I later asked people, like, another six of them said that, uh, they would, they would pull the lever and they would kill the one person. But, uh, just him being the first one to say it actually did influence some people. So, I feel like that's something pretty interesting that we could go into. But for the, right now, I'll just talk about his line of thinking with, not wanting to play God, because as soon as I brought it up, it was like, no, whoa, I would not do that. Like, no, no way I would pull that lever. And just like, even if it would save more people, it's like, no, I wouldn't do that because I don't want that responsibility. And I feel like the line of thinking behind that is, if I pull the lever and I'm actively deciding that I'm going to do this action to have a positive outcome on people, then you have to reevaluate your whole life. And you have to make a ton of changes to how you live. Because if you're willing to play God in that situation, and if you're willing to pull lever, uh, kill somebody to save more people, like, you have to look at yourself like, if you go home and take a shower, like, should you be using all that hot water? Like, should you be wasting water and doing all that? Like, that can't be good for the environment. Then if you go home and cook, if you're using a grass, if you're using a gas grill, like, oh, I don't know if I should really be do that. You get in your car, drive to work, it's like, oh, man, this is hurting the environment. Like, all that stuff, it starts to it starts to stack up. And when you like look at yourself, go, I'm, I'm saying that my choice is something that holds lives in my, my choices hold so much weight that it is worth people's lives and if you start to think about that and you start to really just make that a part of your life and live like that day to day it it becomes impossible to do that because you just look at all the choices that you have to make everything that you have to do every day and every choice that you make seems to harm somebody like uh if you go you shop at a grocery store if you like everything in that grocery store like the chain that had to be um, made to get that food into the store, like, man, that's crazy. Like, between the packaging, 
between where it was grown, where it was shipped to, uh, pesticides that might have had to been applied, like farmers, how it took there, then GMOs and all that sort of stuff. Like once you decide that I'm pulling that lever and I'm deciding that I can play God, all of your choices matter. And I feel like that's what the person who said that uh, Edwin was trying to get at because he just immediately said, no, I'm not willing to play God. I'm not willing to do that. And I thought that was a very interesting argument. On the other side, we had the people who would pull a lever and would save the people. And their argument was pretty simple. Just would you pull a lever and save people? Yes, of course. Because taking a look back and looking at it simply, like, like you're just saving the most people that you can do. Like, And you're just looking at it in a vacuum, just can you save lives? Yes, I will do it. Even bringing up the idea, oh, what about this? What if you're killing them? The general response was, um, no. Like, if you are if you let the train go, you're just letting people die as well, so there's really no difference. You're not directly killing them or anything, or killing the one or anything. So it really doesn't make a difference, and you should be trying to save the people. And that was a pretty general, like, through line that I saw from that. Like, that was generally the reasoning behind wanting to save the five people. Uh, I did have somebody who knew what the trolley problem was, they like immediately brought up like, oh, but let's say you're a doctor, uh, and there's five people who are sick, you could get the organs from one person, and it kind of like went over their heads for, like, or he didn't explain it that well, so it was like, didn't really get it that much, but uh, he was definitely thinking about that, but at the same time, just saving one person is valuable, and like, lives do matter, so just pretty simply, doing the most to save as many people as you can was the general argument. So that's really what I found with the soccer team. I feel like it was interesting to see the reasoning behind uh, everything. Like, uh, the idea of playing God was definitely, like, an interesting idea, I thought. And at the same time, just saving as many people as you can, that's very understandable. I was trying to think about, like, if anything, like, being on the team could represent with this. I already mentioned before that once uh, the argument saying uh, don't play God was said and it got a lot of people to agree to that, like, oh, that makes sense. Like, being in a team environment, like, getting behind somebody, uh, making sure you agree with people, like, we're all on the same page. Maybe that's a part of it, but I feel like that's just general human nature as well. I wouldn't really equate that to a decision being made as as a team or anything like that. Um, I think that uh, despite like our age, like I know some people say like, oh, when you're young, you think you're invis- invincible. I think everybody understood like the value of life in this situation, like either just trying to save as many people as you can or not wanting to have the weight of your decision loom over you. Like, I feel like that was all, like, understood. I feel like they got the gravity of the situation and the trolley problem. So that was interesting, and I feel like them being, like, a team and the age demographics, I don't feel like that really uh, impacted everything as much as I expected to. They're generally the same thoughts that we had in class, and it wasn't exactly, like, a much different. Like, it was generally the same ideas, or at least at the very beginning of the year. Like, the same ideas of is either wanting to save the most people or not wanting to play God. Pretty simple reasoning behind everything. And I really do like what I saw from this. It was a couple of good arguments. I think I learned a bit psychologically. There, I like the argument of not playing God. Like, it was really interesting, like, how it explained, like, one, if you make this one decision and you say your your decision making is that meaningful, how every decision you make, you have to treat it with that same gravity. And I really like that argument because it, it's an interesting way of thinking about it. And at the same time, just the simple reasoning of I could save as many people as I can, I'm going to do that. I think both arguments are understandable and both are easy to get behind. And it was all learned thanks to the trolley problem. Again, I probably would have liked to have uh, 
gone through some more different ideas, see if if I brought up the doctor case, would that have changed anybody's opinions? But in the end, I still feel like I learned a good amount, and yeah. So I really talk about regarding the trolley problem and how I talked about with uh, the soccer team. Disappointing that I couldn't do it because I coach, but, you know, I feel like it still worked out pretty well. Yeah, that's all I have to talk about. See you.